start the addition of these clips, all I need to do is place them in the timeline. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to minimize the panel and I'm going to select all of the clips. In the icon view, all I need to do is click on the first clip, press and hold shift, and then select the last clip and then drag them all to the timeline. And they should be in the same order in which I placed them in the previous chapter. And they are. So now I will mute the audio because I don't need it yet. And I will do so by clicking on this icon right here in the sequence panel. Now let's start the addition in the timeline. For that, I'm going to make use of the timeline editing tools, which are located in this panel. I'm going to start with a selection tool. Its shortcut is the letter V, as in Victor. I'm going to zoom in and just play through this. And this clip is fine, but I find it a little too long. So I'm going to scrub again, and I would like for it to end at around here. There are several ways in which I can do this. I can use my selection tool, and I can click and drag the end of the clip. This, however, will leave a gap, and that's not desirable. So I'm going to undo that. Undo is Control or Command Z. Now, I can use the modifying key, which is the Control or Command key, and when you see that my tool turns into that yellow, it means that this is now the ripple editing tool. So when I trim my clip, all the other clips will move left to compensate for the shorter clip. This is really what I want to do. However, there are other ways in which I can achieve the same thing. I will undo again, Control or Command Z. Now I will select the actual editing point you will notice that these are in the shape of brackets and that the brackets are facing left. This is your visual indication that these brackets belong to the first clip and not the clip to the right of it. Now, I can make things shorter if I just type minus and then maybe 10, as in 10 frames, and you see how the clip just became 10 frames shorter. I will undo that. I could also press the letter E. What that does is that it's going to either shorten or elongate the clip to the point in time where the playhead is. And that's kind of important. Of course, you see that it's leaving the gap as well. I'm going to undo that. And now I'm going to select the edit point by using the ripple tool. Its shortcut is the letter B as in boy. Now I will select and now I will press the letter E. Notice how the brackets are now yellow in color. As you can see, they bring all of the other clips because this was a ripple edit that we performed. So you have your choice. You can either use the selection tool and use the modifying key, which is the control or the command key, or you can just plainly use the shortcuts. A lot of people edit using the keyboard. Okay, so that takes care of the first clip. Let's go on. And I like this clip, but it's taking a little too long. I would like to cut some of the parts in the middle. For that, I'm going to use the razor tool. The razor tool's shortcut is the letter C, as in cut. Now I'm going to cut from here. to about here. I will switch tools by using the keyboard shortcut. The selection tool is the letter V, as in Victor. I will select this clip and I'm going to delete. Of course, that leaves the gap again, so let me undo Control or Command Z. I'm going to select the clip again and now I'm going to perform a ripple delete. Press and hold Shift and now press the delete key. As you can see, it got rid of the gap as well as the clip. Now let's play through the edit. Measuring, digging. 
I would like now for the close-up to be a little bit longer, so I'm going to use the Ripple Edit tool again. Remember, the shortcut for that one is the letter B as in boy. And I'm going to elongate this clip to give it a little bit of balance with the previous one. Let's play through the edit. This is the actual hole, so I think I'm going to leave that one a little bit longer on the screen. And of course, we're going to have to stabilize that shot. More on that later. That's a little too long. I'll make it about yay. The next shot. I like that. Maybe a little bit shorter. The gravel. A little bit shorter as well. I'm just using the ripple editing tool for those. That one is repetitive, so I think I'm going to delete that one clip. Remember, select it and then shift delete, and that takes care of the gap as well. Measuring, mixing the cement. That perhaps is a little too long, so I have the selection tool. I'm going to press and hold the control key. To get the ripple edit tool is mixing and pouring cement. Also a little too long. I think I'm going to make that shorter. And of course, washing it. Now, as I use the ripple edit tool, notice that the program panel is giving me a visual display on how many seconds and frames the clip that I'm affecting now is, and it's also showing me the next clip, or rather the first frame of the next clip. Keep on playing, more washing. I think I like this shot a little bit better, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Shift delete. Cutting. I like that. Maybe it's a little too long. I'll make it shorter. This one is a little too short. I'll make it longer. And remember, all I'm using is the selection tool and the modifying key, which is the control key, command on the Mac. And I'll make this one clip a little bit longer. And then finally, the last clip, which needs some stabilization as well, but more on that later. So in this video, we have seen a couple of tools. We saw the selection tool, we saw the ripple edit tool, and we saw the razor tool. All of those have their function and make our editing a little bit easier. In the next section, we're going to discuss some of the other tools. See you then.